What's up everybody? Welcome back to Castle Crush. Um, in this video you might be, if you're if you're following along with my channel, you might be wondering uh, what's going on here? Why only 3200 trophies? Uh, this is my second account, Psych EXP. I think I've shown uh, some, some battles from this account before. Uh, last time we were here we were around 24 or 2500 trophies I think with this account. And then I'll show you what deck I was running before. I was running uh, not this deck. I actually just got the Reaper today. Just got protection a couple of days ago. We were running a deck with Dreads instead of the Reapers. So I'll just put it up here on the screen so it can be clear. And I also had two demons in the deck. So it was a deck like this. Uh, it was a little different even still. I believe I had another skeleton and I had two archers. It was just a pure um, small creature rush deck um, that took advantage of the standard bearers uh, sort of abilities. And it got us the 2400 trophies. Quite frankly, I don't think it was it's that good of a deck, but um, uh, sometimes you can surprise opponents and win. So that was the deck that I was running before. Um, now that I have the Reaper protection, we could actually run a, a full-on Reaper deck, but that would be kind of boring. I've done Reaper decks before. If, so, if there's really demand for it, I'll make another one, but um, I don't really see any reason to do a Reaper deck video here. Um, what also happened in the meantime when I was around 23, 2400 was I picked up the Archer Queen and I said, okay, now that I've got the Archer Queen, I can run a real resurrection deck with the Archer's Tribe. Um, I already had a pretty high level Archer Tribe. They're already around level eight. I had already picked up a Phoenix. I had um, a decent level Dreid. I had decent leveled uh, Resurrections. And I had a pretty strong Skull King, but I was sitting here going, man, I can't really play the Resurrection deck until I get the Archer Queen. She's such a key uh, card in a Resurrection deck. And so then I got the Archer Queen. I got two of them in a legendary chest, and so I leveled up to level two, and level two is pretty strong because you need, I think, a level seven or a level eight Inferno to take out the level two Archer Queen, so it's a pretty good card. And I ran this deck right here all the way up to, uh, to get us into Castle Eight, up to almost 3,300 trophies. Have I been above that? I might have been above that. 3,302 at one point. Um, and I'm going to show some replays of some of the latest games I played with this Resurrection deck to give you an idea. So this isn't the, the uh, there's other kinds of Resurrection decks people play um, with different cards that I think I don't have. Let me see. Um, some people play it with the Fan Dancer. I do have the Fan Dancer. Some people play it with, um, with the Shaman. Some people play it with a Spectre as well. Um, I don't know too many who play it with the Skull Queen, but it probably could be done. Lots of people include Vampire and uh, Black Witch. Uh, we have neither of those cards, but lots of people include that for defensive. So this is really a very aggressive and offensive Resurrection deck. We really only have one defensive card, um, the Inferno. I guess the Wind is sort of a defensive card. Um, but this is it. This is the deck that, that took us from about, moved us up about 800 trophies. And so I'm going to show you some games from that. Before we do that, I just noticed uh, that there's a new offer in my store, and it is an epic chest. So let's do that. 7,000 coins. This, these are usually, I just got this just now. These are usually pretty good deals. Okay, come on. So let's see what we got. Hopefully we got some good cards. Okay, a bunch of genies. Not good. And that's a card I have not upgraded at all, and I'm not really wanting to play. Okay, a bunch of reapers. The game is screaming at me to play a rush deck here. Um, we're not going to do anything with that. I was really hoping to either get Spectre or maybe some more Skull Kings, but um, oh well. Oh, okay, so let's show a replay of some battles. And I want to start with a couple of battles. And this is why I want to do this video now, because I don't want these to go away. These are the last two battles in my match history. And they're both against overtime decks. And I want to show how um, the Resurrection deck can be... I'm just not sure. I'm going to do watch. The Resurrection deck can be used um, quite effectively against Overtime decks. So Overtime decks are some of the most frustrating to play. Let me move my little face out of the way. Um, although this is a weird one. It's an Overtime deck with the uh, with uh, the statue in it, but, you know, uh, who knows. Um, overtime decks are frustrating to play because um, you they basically don't try to win. They just try not to lose. They just try to kill all your creatures like this one will do right here. And here I went ahead, since I had two resurrections, I decided to go, oh, I'm going to go ahead and play two because I want my opponent to 
um, have to kill my cards. Um, I know they're playing an overtime deck at this point because they've done nothing except I think they played one fortify. Um, maybe maybe they haven't even yet. But uh, I just I know I want my opponent to have to deal with lots of stuff. Okay, so that's good. It's good timing there. And now comes arrows. And I decide not to play a resurrection here because um, I want them to expend more arrows if they have them, and then I will play my resurrection pretty soon after that. So there's the resurrection, and now the archer queen. Oh, I sorry, I played the inferno so that I could save my uh, save the phoenix. And now once the archer queen's out, my opponent's in big trouble. Um, they really need to use the lightning on it, and they haven't done that yet. I'm not exactly sure what my opponent's doing. Um, they're playing a statue, and then they play the lightning, okay. But I have the resurrection to bring the archer queen back, which is exactly what you want to do. Now my archers are doing lots of damage. Um, they're going to, yeah, and they died before. I could have saved my egg with the, with the wind as well. So um, resurrection, very difficult for overtime decks to deal with. That's just one example. Let's show a second one. So I had back-to-back -back games against overtime decks. And this one's a little different because I don't think it had really any creatures except maybe the Black Witch. So this one was like really pure overtime. I'm going to try to kill you with just Meteor. Um, it's really the only thing it had. And so, of course, I don't know that my opponent's playing an overtime deck at all yet. I'm just playing my Dryad. And they freeze. So now I'm thinking, okay, they're going to play Skeleton Swarm or something, but then they play that, so I'm going, I have no idea what my opponent's doing. Um, now my opponent probably should have quickly thrown down a Black Witch there, but elected not to. And now when they play it, I'm going to be able to save everything with the Inferno. Yes, and so everything gets saved, including the egg even after, and then I'm able to resurrect them all back. Um, and there my opponent's going to try to destroy the egg, but it's too late. Um, and so now they, and I'm getting more creatures out there. Again, the idea here being to protect the egg. And now they realize, oh shoot, a lightning, that won't kill the egg. They need to use their lightning on my Archer Queen. I draw a resurrection, so of course I bring her back. They're going to need to use another lightning on her, but they decide to go arrows instead, which is probably a good move. But the idea here is just to keep cards coming at them, and I got lucky there, drew another resurrection, so I brought the Archer Queen back yet again, and my opponent has had enough and realizes that at this point it's all over. They can play their two Fortifies, but they're just taking way too much damage, and I'll just keep bringing creatures back. And so that's how Resurrection uh, works really well against the Overtime deck, because you can just keep running creatures until um, until they they uh, until they have to surrender. Um, I've lost a few games, so it's not like this deck is perfect, but like I said before, it has no real uh, defensive spells in it, no Black Witch, no, um, I'll show you a game against a, a kind of a Reaper deck here. Um, <clears throat> this was a weird Reaper deck, I didn't realize my opponent was playing Reaper until, uh, until it was too late, otherwise I might have played it a little differently. Um, because my opponent, most Reaper decks don't play Mana Ritual. There's a few that do, but I don't see, I don't know of a single Reaper deck that plays Archer's Tribe. So when my opponent played Archer's Tribe, I thought, oh, okay, so they're probably playing a, a Resurrection deck or a Spam deck because they're playing Archer's Tribe. So that's fine. I'll play my Skeletons. And then I got really surprised <laughs> um, by that and didn't really have a lot I could do. But uh, luckily I had the Inferno. Unfortunately, they had another Reaper, and there's really no way of stopping the Reaper from getting to my castle. Um, plus, they had a, uh, yeah, and then the protection's out, and then it's, it's pretty much all over. So had I realized that my opponent was playing a Reaper deck, I, I would have played it a little bit differently. Uh, I certainly wouldn't have played my um, Phoenix where I did. But I didn't realize my opponent was playing a Reaper deck, so that was kind of tricky maneuver by my opponent. Although, quite frankly, I don't think that version of a Reaper deck is going to be that successful because it does have Archer's Tribe, which doesn't really make sense. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, here are some other examples. Uh, let's do let's do one against... Um, yeah, let's do this one here against an Unchained Demon deck. Um, lots of people play these Unchained Demon Giant Growth kinds of decks, so I think this is an instructive one as well. 
And again, I don't think this is the best form of a resurrection deck. This one works okay. Uh, I think adding Black Witch and Vampire would really make this deck go a lot better. But uh, for now, this is what we're going to do. So at this point, I think my opponent's playing a Reaper deck because they've played the statue right up front, and that's what a lot of Reaper opponents do. Turns out my opponent actually had an Unchained Demon deck with a pretty bad draw. Um, they played the bomb there, although I'm not sure exactly why. I don't think I, they even knew I was playing the Archer's Tribe there, but anyway. So here is basically just, um, uh, unfortunately, I wish this was a little bit better game, but my opponent just has a, an Unchained Demon deck with a really bad draw, and, and we're in pretty good shape here. Okay, so now they get the Unchained Demon out, but I'm already playing the Archer Queen, and the Archer Queen can do a lot of damage to the Unchained Demon. Um, they heal it up. I, I don't mind playing that because I know I've got this Wind. Wind is a really effective card against the Unchained Demon deck because notice how they can't really play anything. They're kind of stuck. Um, they will play an Unchained Demon out there, but um, in the meantime, we're doing lots and lots of damage to the one that's there. They heal it up again, but it's sort of too late. Um, the Archer Queen is really tough on the Unchained Demons. And in the meantime, we're just pounding the Unchained Demon in the other lane. And that's the way you usually beat Unchained Demon decks. You usually beat them by running down the other two lanes and just making sure they don't kill you in, your, in, in the, the lane that they're trying to charge down. Because by having the Unchained Demon out there, they're, um, they're not able to defend very well by playing other creature cards. Okay, so that was against an Unchained Demon deck. Um, let's see. Let's show one against another uh, Resurrection deck. This is a Resurrection deck with... Um, with Spectre, I think this one my opponent, I don't think my opponent disconnected from this one or anything like that, but if they did, we'll see. So, uh, you know, a good draw for us because we have the Crystal, we've got the Phoenix, and wh what I like to see with the Phoenix is cards that can defend it, and so I see the Wind, and I'm like, okay, so that's good, I've got the Phoenix, and if they try to take it out, I can push back, push the Egg back with the Wind and save the Phoenix, at least to make them work harder to kill it. I also now have a Resurrection, so now I'm feeling really good about having the Phoenix. Of course, you like Phoenix to go up against Skeletons, but you can't always plan that. But I did get my Skeletons out just in time. And now my opponent plays the uh, the Spectre, and I'm able to push everything back. And get out my Skull King. I notice here, because I use the Mana Ritual, my Skull King is not the level 4 Skull King that it, that it can be. But at this point, we're in pretty good shape. My opponent is playing a Resurrection deck with Arrows, which is a little different, but I, I'm going to go ahead and resurrect everything here. Um, they're going to resurrect their stuff, but unfortunately, my stuff was a lot stronger than theirs. And now I've got the killer card, uh, the Archer Queen. Um, there we go. I get her out. And at this point, it's going to be really hard for my opponent to break through, even if they play Skull King or Arrows or anything like that. So they play Arrows, they play Fall Out of the Skull King, but I've got Resurrection on tap. And even if that Skull King gets gets to uh, some of my archers, I've got more coming behind. He has another Skull King. I've got another Resurrection on deck. Um, not really much my opponent could do there. So um, the big difference, I think, in that match is that I got my cards out a little faster uh, via the Mana Ritual. I also had the Archer Queen, and my opponent uh, did, did not. Uh, or is that right? Did not have the Archer Queen? Yeah, my opponent didn't have the Archer Queen. They're running two Archer's Tribes, um, but without the Archer Queen, not quite as effective. Um, let's see, I could show you this one that I lost. It's, I think that's kind of a funky deck. It's a blend, it's, it's a blend of a power kind of deck, a rush deck with the genie, but also, um, some overtime-ness uh, to it as well. So I don't really know how to describe that deck. It's definitely unique. Um, here's another, uh, resurrection deck that I do want to show. Um, this one also does not have the Archer Queen. And so you can see how important the Archer Queen is to... To the resurrection uh, kind of deck because here my opponent does have um, a couple of legendaries. They've got the Black Witch, they've got the Shaman, um, they have a Skull King, they've got um, Resurrection ready, they've got a uh, Spectre. Um, so they've got a few cards that I don't have. I don't have Black Witch, I don't have Shaman, I don't have a uh, Spectre. But um, as you'll see here, the Archer Queen. Um, ultimately the, the killer card for the for the resurrection deck so that should give you some tips if you're playing against resurrection decks 
um, there's a few things you want to do. One thing you want to do is make sure you uh, take out and don't let come back the Archer Queen because that's one whole goal of Resurrection decks is I think you'll see in this one that I'm able to bring my Archer Queen back. I think it's in this one. I'm not 100% sure. But um, so I, I played the Resurrection there. It's probably ill-advised. Probably wasn't really necessary. Okay, so now they're going to get my Archer Queen out of the way, which is one... Uh, uh, a nice thing about the but uh, sorry the black witch it can take out the archer queen um, it's kind of a weird play by my opponent to, to resurrect there uh, because they know that my my Phoenix can take out the um, can, can, uh, can take out those skeletons but uh, maybe they just didn't have anything else so here I'm just trying to make sure I save my Phoenix because my Phoenix is getting very strong Okay, my opponent does have the bomb, uh, but I use Resurrection, bring the egg back, and now my Phoenix is going to get very strong. Now they've got the, the um, Black Witch, but I get the Archer Queen out, I think, in time to save something. Do I get to save? Yes, I save uh, one Skull King and some Skeletons. And notice I'm sitting there on a Resurrection. My opponent's kind of back is against the wall here. I'm... Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the Inferno just to make sure my Archer Queen doesn't die. They killed everything, but I had these Resurrections ready to go. Um, I don't think they can get to my Archer Queen in time, no. If they can, I've got Skeletons ready. Uh, they, they try to go for the Skull King, but even at that point, I think it was too late. Um, I had a very strong Phoenix at their gate, uh, an Archer Queen out there, and Resurrection uh, in case they got, got, uh, got anything really going to bring everything back. So the Archer Queen, again, uh, really is a powerful card. If you're playing Resurrection, it's kind of the key card for it, in my view. Um, especially if you're assuming you're playing with Archer's Tribe or Phoenix, things like that, that do, that do uh, range damage. Uh, if you're playing against Resurrection decks, um, you definitely want to... Uh, <laughs> you definitely want to kill the Archer Queen and try to make sure it doesn't come back. And so... A lot of people make mistakes. They try to kill everything all at once. Um, one of the problems with arrows is that it does kill everything all at once, and resurrection just brings it all back right away. Uh, better ways to face resurrection decks is to take them out sort of one at a time. Uh, if I take out a skeleton swarm with a bomb, I might wait a few seconds, maybe five, six seconds, before I shoot arrows and try to kill archers. Because if I shoot the arrows and drop the bomb at the same time, then one resurrection brings everything back at once. If I at least wait six seconds, then they can't bring it all back at once. But a lot of people don't do that. They make that mistake of trying to kill everything all at once. But the problem is that just makes it easier for them to bring everything back. Okay, that's it for this video. Hope you uh, enjoyed it. Hope you learned something about resurrection decks. Um, maybe we'll do another video on resurrection decks when I get um, a few other cards to add to it, but that'll be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.